Hi there, my name is David and I'm going to be showing you a fetal pig dissection. The point of any dissection is to understand, uh, with more hands-on learning, to understand the functioning uh, and operation of tissues within in, in, in the species. In this dissection, we'll be dissecting a fetal pig, which is very uh, similar to the organ systems of humans. So, but before we start any dissecting, let's go through some important safety information. First, remember what we're working with real world specimens which have been treated with a very variety of chemicals. But in addition to these chemicals, some natural body fluids are still present inside, so you may want to make sure to take off any baggy clothing and tie back any loose hair. To get your lab tray ready, place a thick layer of wet paper towel down. One thing to keep in mind whenever you are working with these animals, these are educational specimens, not toys. Make the cuts that are necessary to examine the animal, but respect the fact that this was once a living organism. Don't make unnecessary cuts, and don't remove anything from the animal and throw it away. Whatever you remove, you will eventually put back. Your teacher will distribute the pigs once you are prepared. For the dissection, you're going to need a couple different tools. First and foremost, your cutting implement is going to be a pair of uh, sharp point scissors. To hold back any of the tissue that you're going to need to be examining, you're probably going to get a couple, want to get a couple of probes. Uh, check with your teacher to see how many uh, that are going to be available that day for your dissection. Now that we've gotten our tray ready, we can start examining the pig. What you'll likely notice first is a large cut that is stained blue. These animals are specially treated with preservative chemicals and dyes to outline the arteries and veins. Arteries are stained red and veins are stained blue. The opening is where they inject these chemicals. Let's take a look at some more external features. Starting with the mouth, notice that the tongue is still smooth. The teeth are underdeveloped and the gums are still soft. This would indicate that the pig was likely 90 days into gestation out of a normal 120 day gestation period. Next, look at the midsection of the pig. Notice the eight teeth across the belly and notice the umbilical cord. We'll take a closer look at the umbilical cord later. We've identified this pig as female by noting the small opening called the genital tubercle right under the tail. When we start cutting into the animal, what you're, the first cut you're going to do is from the hair spot up here up to about the top of the teats. From there you're going to cut shallowly around the teats on each side and you're going to end up pulling back this tissue here to expose the underside of the umbilical cord. The next cuts you're going to make are going to be above the legs around here and under the arms around here. To tie back your pig, you're going to want to take a piece of string, which you're going to need to get during your tool session, and tie it around each limb. Make a knot around each limb, and then you're going to loop it under the, under the dissection tray to hold back the limbs. As you keep going and cutting further, you can keep doubling up the knots on the limbs to keep the skin pulled back as tight as possible. For, your, for any cut in these animals, you want to make a deep, shallow cut. Nothing that's going to be too deep to nick an organ. If you have to, you can make one or two different cuts to get through the first the outer tissue and then through the sternum. It's pretty normal to hear a lot of clicking when you're going through because you are cutting through some premature bone tissue. But remember, as you're cutting, you're exposing the internal cavity of the animal. And so a lot of uh, internal fluid might start squirting out. Once you're done with the first cut, start cutting down across the teats and down towards the bottom of the animal. Once you've made all the necessary cuts into the animal, you can start doubling up the knots on the strings to pull the arms back a little bit tighter to gain better access to the cavity of the animal. At this point, you can also start taking your probes and pinning back some of the tissue so you can get a better view of your animal. When you place a probe or a pin into a, into a dissecting tray, it's never a good idea to go straight down, but a better idea to go in, at an angle. That way it pulls back more tissue uses less tension and you can actually see a heck of a lot more.
necessary, start pushing the tissue around, and if it tears bite with your fingers, that's okay. So once you've got your animal fully cut open and, ex and exposed, you can start identifying the organs inside. From top to bottom in the thoracic cavity, this tissue around the top of the heart is actually the thymus. It was cut um, during, the, during our initial cuts, and it's very normal to cut through some of the organs. Just try not to nick most of them, if possible. Right below that is the heart, uh, with a very well uh, displayed coronary artery, right along, right along the edge, stained red. Around this is uh, pulmonary tissue. This is the lungs. This is the left lobe and the right lobe of the lungs. Going down further into the gastrointestinal cavity, uh, this is the liver, divided into three lobes. And on the underside of the liver, the gallbladder is easily visible. Next is the stomach. Around the stomach is the pancreas, right here, this flap of tissue. And further down the digestive system, is the small intestine, this area right in here. Where the tissue starts to coil pretty tightly, this is the large intestine, and in the area joining them is the cecum. At this point in the dissection, we begin removing the visible organs. If you would like, you can take them out, cut them open, and examine the inside tissue. Remove the organs one by one by severing the connective tissue, and then place the organ on your dissection tray. Once you are done, you should be able to see the backbone, kidneys, the sex organs, and possibly the spinal cord. A good organ to examine up close is the stomach. The stomach may still have some material inside of it when you cut it open, so be prepared. This particular stomach was almost empty. Inside the stomach, there are muscular ridges called rugae. Rugae power mechanical digestion. Another good organ to look at is the small intestine. Notice the connective tissue called mesentery, which keeps the organ coiled. When totally uncoiled, the small intestine can reach 150 centimeters. After successfully removing the first layer of visible organs, the kidneys and sex organs are visible. The kidney is responsible for osmoregulation, or regulating water and oxygen concentration in the bloodstream. In the umbilical cord tissue that we, f that we folded back, the Umbilical veins, stained blue here, are clearly visible, and the urinary bladder, which is held inside here, are also clearly visible. Uh, the sex organs are also uh, easily seen in this view. Right here are the ovaries, these two uh, sacs of tissue here, uh, and the oviducts that, that uh, form into the uh, uterus, which is underneath that tissue there. Uh, and on the underside of the animal, the uh, genital tubercle, is clearly visible. This is the end of our dissection. Put the organs you removed back into their position inside the pig, remove the probes and string, wrap the pig inside the paper towel, and wait for further instructions from your teacher.